Hello, Morgan Knoll here with Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. It's gonna be a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye four horse gooseneck with the closet tack. I really love this setup. Um, those of you showing or going weekend camping or just like the extra space, this setup gives you that opportunity to have the flexibility and you know maneuver it how you need to make it work because it does have the front dressing room entrance and then your tack room separate so it just makes extra space um, nice little hangout area storage space throw a bed up there if you need to sleep in it overnight or something um, but it's a neat little setup we'll get started right up here up front so it's going to be an adjustable coupler so we want to make sure this is riding as level as possible on your truck um, or the tow vehicle so we can adjust that to make sure we're getting you that level ride and then we've got our safety chains our battery battery breakaway so if this pin you got this hooked up you know hooked separately from the chains hooked up on the truck if this is to come unhitched and you know pulls off the truck and this is still hooked onto your truck and this pin gets pulled right here that is going to lock the brakes on the trailer and you know help it from stopping instead of keeping it going until it hits something to stop it. So that's gonna help out big time. Um, so that seven way, and then we've got your manual jack on this one. And with these manual jacks, it's pretty neat cause um, let's see here. These actually double as a lug wrench too. So if you forget to bring one or something and you're in a pickle, you do have this one on your trailer that um, might work out on other things as well. So nice to have, it's got its little home back here in the corner, stays in place, isn't moving around too much while you're driving. And if you wanted a hydraulic or electric jack on this, you just talk to our service department and they can get you taken care of. And then you'll see the full size spare tire with the matching rim. So that's a 16 inch aluminum wheel. And I love the look of these rims. I think this trailer turned out really cool with the uh, charcoal exterior and then this rim color. Um, it's like a black and the silver mixed together. So coming over here, this is where we're gonna see that separation between that front dressing room and the tack room. So up here, front dressing room, you've got the window on the door. So that's gonna help with extra airflow and stuff like that. This little peg right here comes down, just gonna help you be able to step up in that gooseneck easier if you are to have you know, storage up there or something and you gotta reach it. So this is that separate, separate dressing room. So you can see if you needed to throw a mattress up here, a little foam, something, and stay overnight or whatnot, you can. Or if you just wanted a hangout area while you're sitting at shows waiting for your turn to go, um, it's just a nice little area to be able to hang out and just, you know, make it additional from the tack room and keep that sweaty, smelly horse tack over there. But if you wanted to or needed to, there's plenty of space in here. Um, you can see back here in this corner, um, so this is a tack room that comes this box right here. So when we go on the outside, you'll see the tack room. So then you have that extra storage space corner area. We can put shelves in there for you. We can put some hooks in there. Um, you know, you can kind of just make it however you need it, make it best usable for you. You do have lights in the tack room. Um, our little plug for the battery box is not working right now, so I don't have them on. But if you wanted to run the lights without being hooked up to a vehicle, um, we can get a battery box installed here with the battery cutoff switch um, and the battery. So that would be able to run the lights while you're not hooked up to the tow vehicle. And then when you hook up and start driving, you flip that battery cutoff switch on and it's gonna trickle charge the battery and get it charged back up for you. So that's an option. If that's something you'd be looking for, we can definitely do that here. So here's a little box um, of the tack room that you saw in the dressing room. So tack room's got a swing out saddle rack and I don't know if you guys have heavy saddles like I do, but being able to just flip them on here real quick is so much easier than having to trip over your straps, getting into the trailer, trying to get the saddle in there. So having the swing out helps out big time. And those are removable. So if you only had a couple saddles instead of multiple and you wanted extra space in there, all you gotta do is undo this little uh, nut right here and they pop right out. And then on the tack door, you do have a window, help get some airflow in there, get some um, ventilation going through. And then you have your blanket pole that comes out. So this swings out as well. 
So that makes it a lot easier if you're trying to layer pads on or you take off this middle one, being able to swing it out and get it in between the one above it, it just helps out big time. And then it stores off to the side with that hook and that keeps it from going back and forth while you're driving down the road. And then you do have a brush box on that door as well. Brush box, I always keep my, you know, usable items that I use daily. So my hoof pick, my brushes, my um, fly spray, stuff like that, that I'm gonna use consistently. I always keep it easy to access in that brush box in the door. So then up here in the tack room, so behind where the saddle rack goes, so I'll show you with the saddle rack pulled out real quick. So it's a 35 gallon water tank you've got with you. So it's just nice little assurance to have water on board in case you are to be stranded, you know, on the side of the road or something like that. Um, you've got that water there to give to your horses, to give to your dogs. And if it's good enough water, give to yourself too. Um, or if you're going up camping for the weekend or going on a trail ride, just having water with you, um, not relying on just natural sources or external sources helps out having it with you. And then having that swing back in, it hides right behind it. So it's a perfect placement for a, sa or for a water tank and then the saddle rack, because it just eats up that dead space right there. And then you're getting that water tank on there too. So then as he was panning around, you probably saw in there, you do have plenty of bridle hooks with the carpet behind it. So having that carpet is gonna help alleviate some of that rubbing and the swishing and swaying that the bridles will do while you're driving. So it's gonna keep your bridles in better shape and then keep your trailer in better shape as well. You do have a light in that tack room too. Um, so really nice to have lights interior and exterior on this one, uh, being able to see and you know, being good to go. So you can see right there, another LED light up above. That helps out big time when you're tacking and untacking in the dark, being able to see and having that, it's just great. And then we've got our bus windows. So these open up part way. So you can open these and kind of dictate and dedicate how much airflow you want going through the trailer. You can maneuver it back and forth to get that right proper airflow, depending on the time of year, how many horses, if it's hot and whatnot. Um, it's just nice to have that flexibility there. You got four ties on the exterior on each side. So plenty of spaces to tie, hay bag, horse, four horses, whatever you wanna do, there's an option to do so. And then down below here, we've got two 6,000 pound Dexter torsion axles. And like I said earlier, your 16 inch aluminum wheel. So Logan Coach trailers, they're gonna be a galvanized steel frame, aluminum sheeting combo. So I really like the combo, having that galvanized steel, the strength and durability of that, but then also getting that lightweightness of the aluminum. It's a really good combo um, that Logan has. And then um, they've got their vortex coating. So all of this you see, is gonna be Logan's vortex coating. And I'll show you right down here right away why we're talking about the vortex. We've got our aluminum plank floors that are covered in the vortex coating. So having that on there is going to help, um, you know, prevent any kind of liquid or urine from sitting and seeping into that. So these are aluminum planks. So the urine, if you've got urine sitting on aluminum, it will start eating away at it, the acid in it. So having that to cover and give you that buffer and not allow it to sit in there and eat away helps out big time with the longevity of this floor. And then having your rubber mats that flip down over top, I mean, that's just extra protection, a little extra cushion for your horse. Then you can get shavings on there and give them even more cushion and whatnot, um, however you want to do it. So really like that floor on there. And then if you decide down the line that you want to do poly last or sure grip flooring, you definitely can because you already have the start of it. Having those aluminum planks, they just have to go in there and put that rubber composite material on top. So this one currently does not have a ramp on it, but if that's something you need or want, um, we could definitely get one installed here. We just have to see uh, availability on the parts for the ramp and then getting you into the service department. We got the 50-50 door opening. So these open up each individually. So that way, you know, if you've got a seasoned loader and you don't want to mess around with having two doors open, you can just open that one side, load them right up and get out really easily. Um, they do latch back as well. So having them latched back, I mean, I'm pushing pretty dang hard right now and it, that's not going anywhere. So 
the wind's blowing or anything like that and you're by yourself loading, having those latches to hold those doors open and keep you safe in the horse safe helps out big time. Another LED load light up above. So that helps out if you're loading, unloading in the dark once again. So these bullseyes, I really like the um, telescoping divider here. So this comes up and pushes in and gives you the flexibility of putting this over on the side here, if I can run clips, and getting that out of the way. And it actually allows you to do that with all of them. And that way, you know, if you've got to haul something else besides just horses, or if you've got to haul furniture, bikes, um, you're moving, something like that, you have that option to get those off to the side. Um, depending on what other kind of animals you have height-wise, I'd be careful a little bit. But being able to get those out of the way helps out big time. Um, just having this open space. And then when you're loading as well, you've got both of these doors open, get this in, you're not having that stick out and have that as a possibility of a horse catching a hip on or something. So being able to get it out of the way safety wise helps out big time. And then if you needed to, you could drive with the doors closed in these in this position. So you can unhook these. Both sides are padded on these, these dividers. Um, so those of you folks with the gray horses, the um, paints, your palominos, uh, buckskins, lighter colored horses, when they sit in a trailer and they rub against aluminum, you take them off and they've got that, you know, rub mark on their hip, usually from rubbing right about here and standing in a trailer. Um, this uh, pads on these dividers are gonna help buffer that a little bit and help, you know, the horses not get as many rub marks or discoloration on them. And then the comfort of the horse too. It's got a little padding for them to lean on when you're going stopping and accelerating and you know, they're trying to catch their balance. So it helps out with that too. So then to put this back, you just pull it back out, pin pops back in, super simple. So this is what I was talking about right here. It does stick out a little bit. My horse is talented and gets herself injured on anything. So I would be concerned if that was sticking out. So if it were me, I'd push it in, clip it to the side, then load her up. So then you just pull back out and that hooks right back in. Each stall has an LED light. So more lights in here, be able to see at night. I'm telling you guys, it's a game changer when you go from having no lights to having lights. Um, and then up above, you do have a roof vent for each stall. So you're able to get that airflow going over their heads and their backs. Um, if you push them forward, that's gonna help draw the air in. And then you push them back, it'll help draw that air out a little more and get some more airflow going through the trailer. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got our four drop downs, one for each stall. And then each one has their jail bars as well. So jail bars come down and I like, I like when the jail bars come down because I don't like opening the trailer until I get to my destination for the day, um, just for safety reasons and precautions. This way I can get in there or look in there, offer them food, offer them water, look, make sure they're doing all right. You know, you got your running board right here. You can hop up on the side and just hop right up in, see how that horse is doing to make sure they're good, good trailering yet. So then these go back in super easy. You do have the um, mesh sheets. They come with this trailer. So those mesh sheets help out trying to prevent and help the horses from getting hit in the face with any kind of debris going down the road. So, you know, rocks and bugs and stuff like that can hurt going 65, 75 miles an hour. So that helps out big time. On these windows, you do have the bus window that opens up. So if you are hauling in the winter and you just want a little bit of airflow going through, so want some ventilation, you can just open this. Um, you know, just get a little bit, or if you want more, you just pull it right down. I don't know if you saw that, but it's one-handed. So it's really nice if you got something in your hand, be able to use it one-handed. They pop into place, so they're not gonna be flapping against the trailer while you're driving. That pops into that little grommet right there. And then the jail bars are one-handed as well. So very easy movement going in and out. Very tough windows, they are framed in. So these windows are very sturdy. I don't know if you can see the trailer rocking a little bit, but having those framed in windows and that durability of it helps out big time. So this trailer, we're gonna be sitting at six, nine wide and seven feet tall. And then we have an empty weight of 5,420 pounds. 
So it's a 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye. The new bull, or the new Logan Coaches will come with an eight year structural warranty to your hitch to bumper. Um, so really nice warranties on the trailers. Uh, good warranties tells a lot to me. Uh, they back their product and they like it. So stock number on this we've got is 5N211892. And that's 5N211892. So 2022 Logan Coach Bullseye four horse gooseneck. We do have this one currently sold, but we've got a couple more um, on order coming in. So if this one interests you and you wanna see what we've got coming, or if you just wanna know what we've got on order, what we've got on our lot, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, you can call or text me at my cell phone, and that's 970-218-5996, or you can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451, or you can shoot me an email at morgan, and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L, at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business, and I hope you have a great day.